socialize? I don't know, bro. I don't know. You know, I've tried my hardest. I, I've tried my hardest to be a more social person. It, it, it doesn't really seem to work out too much. It doesn't, you know, it, it just makes me end the day feeling drained out of my mind, out of my mind. That's me. That, that, that's me returning home from a long 15 minute group conversation. Many people don't know this, but um, time for uh, time for a professor kneecaps to get into action. Introversion and extroversion. They're, they're both fairly genetic. They're both fairly genetic. Your upbringing definitely has some, some influence to it, but it's fairly reliant more on your nature than your nurture. There, there's this one weird ass nigga, right? This one weird ass nigga named William Sheldon. William Sheldon. Uh, imagine having two of the nerdiest names ever. William and Sheldon. This man was meant, it was meant to be a weird ass dude, but he did a study. He did a study on body types associated with personality. There are three body soma types, three body soma types, ectomorphic, that's that naturally skinny friend you got, the one that can eat junk food 24 seven, walk for like 13 minutes and they'll actually end up losing weight somehow. Endomorphic, that's the opposite side of the spectrum. That's that one friend you got that they eat like a baby carrot. No, nah, they, they, eat, they eat half a baby carrot and they gain like 20 pounds. Lastly, there's mesomorphic, friend that's naturally athletic. They do like eight pushups a day, two, two pushups, two pushups a week and they end up looking like this. Both endomorphs and mesomorphs are usually usually genetically predetermined to be extroverted. Endomorphism comes with a, a, a viscerotonic personality and mesomorphism, it comes with a, with a somatonic personality. Us skinny niggas, you know, us, us skinny niggas, niggas like Earl, he, he just like me, bro. He, he just like me, we, we got the same body type. He just like me, bro. It usually comes with a, a, a cerebrotonic personality and that just means that we're just naturally smarter than everybody else. I mean, like, y'all niggas so stupid. So stupid. Usually means you just tend to be more introverted, more artistic. You rely more on your emotion and intuition. And overall, you just like being alone more, you know? Now, why am I explaining all this, huh? Why am I explaining all this? Sometimes niggas hit me up. Sometimes niggas hit me up with plans of doing outside group activities. Oh my God. Just saying that gave me a chill. Sometimes I feel pressured, you know, sometimes I feel pressured and then just saying, yeah, I'll go, I'll go. And then when it's actually time to go, when it's actually time, the introversion within my cellular walls activate. And I'm like, you know, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll actually sit this one out. People will be like, oh, you, you just gonna flake again, huh? You, so, so you just gonna flake again? Hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna flake again. I am genetically predetermined to be a flaker, nigga. I feel like the word introvert has become a bit glorified on the internet now. You know, they got mean pages for being an introvert. And as proud as I am of being introverted, I think I think having a mean page solely dedicated about being an introvert is it's so fucking cringe. I, I've seen people fake claiming, fake claiming to be introverted. See a coworker, see a coworker talking to another coworker. Yeah, I'd say um I'd say I'm pretty introverted. I just had a conversation with you. I had a conversation with you not even an hour ago, telling telling me you've been to the club 17 times times in the last month. Stop, Stop it. it, bro. Get Stop some it. Sometimes you can also be a shy extrovert. People that are naturally extroverted, but because of social factors like bullying or how they were raised by their parents, they feel they feel less rewarded to socialize. So, you know, yeah, sometimes you're not even an introvert. Sometimes you're just a little bitch. <laughs> you can also be a social introvert. You know, being an introvert doesn't mean you don't socialize at all. It just means that when you do, you usually prefer doing so in small groups and with close friends. IRL people that know me, you know, people like coworkers and stuff. They're like, you don't, you don't talk very much. Yeah, I, I usually don't talk at all. You know, sometimes, sometimes if I don't go to work, I, I might even go a whole day without talking unless, <laughs> unless somebody interacts with me on some NPC energy type shit, bro. Now, but most of the time, most of the time I'm just thinking about stuff, you know, random ideas that float around in my head that I, I drag and drop and put in the video ideas. Sometimes I might be thinking about a video I saw the other day or maybe a song. Other times it can just be, it can just be something random. You want to know what I'm thinking about right now? Go ahead. Take a look. Double back when you got it made, 30 racks of-